In this video, we will cover platen rolling adjustment. This video was created using Windows 7. You'll need to perform the platen rolling adjustment with the printer during the setup process or when replacing a printhead. This adjustment should also be executed when you see issues with banding in your prints. You'll need several sheets of blank letter size copy paper to perform this adjustment. To begin the process, ensure the printer is first connected to a PC via LAN or USB connection. First, go to the Windows Start button, then go to All Programs. From there, go to the folder name Brother GTX4 Tools and open it. Next, click on GTX4 Maintenance. This will launch the Maintenance Tool program. From here, first ensure your printer is connected and you have it selected at the top drop-down, specifically in the case of if you have multiple printers. Next, ensure the radio button for platen rolling adjustment is checked, then click Next. It is important that you have already performed both the V-rating adjustments, front adjustments, before proceeding with the platen rolling adjustment. If you have not done so, go back to the main menu and perform those steps. If we have completed those steps already, we can proceed by checking the checkbox and clicking Next. You'll be asked to have the blank copy paper prepared, along with tape if you have issues with keeping the paper flatly in place during the adjustment. You will also be asked to check if the platen height is set to level A. Lastly, it is important to note, unlike other adjustments, you set this paper in the middle of the platen. When ready, you may click Next. Doing so will send a file to the printer. Please verify that on the panel displays feeding pattern before proceeding. Take the blank copy paper and turn it landscape and position it at the top center of the platen. Fix the paper to the platen using tape as shown. Afterwards, hit the green print button. Due to the length of this print, approximately two minutes, we will not show the file being printed. Instead, we will show the paper entering and exiting the printer. For each print in this video, the same will be shown. Once the file is printed, you will hear a pong sound. You can go ahead and remove the printed paper. Carefully remove the paper and the tape from the platen so you do not rip the paper. You will need the printout to make the adjustment. You can move back to the PC and start making the adjustment while the print heads are docking. At the PC, you can now click Next. On this next screen, there will be drop downs that match the FWD and the RVS settings that were printed. Please view the printed sample here within the tool. In the printed sample, you can see that what is being selected is the number above the smoothest printout with the least defects of gaps or overlapping. Start by checking the FWD pattern. Here we can clearly see the smoothest value will be 0 as shown in the printout. Now let's look at the RVS pattern. It looks to be plus 2. We will go ahead and select plus 2 for this demonstration. We will go ahead and input these values into the drop downs here and click Next. When we click Next, an adjusted file will be sent to the printer. Note you will hear a pong, however the file being printed will remain on the panel from before. Fix the paper to the platen using tape as shown. Remember, it needs to be in the top center of the platen in landscape orientation. Now press the green print button on the panel. Again, we will not display the print. It will take almost two minutes again to complete. Carefully remove the paper and the tape from the platen so you do not rip the paper.
Once completed, take the printout back to the PC while the printer is docking the heads. On the PC, you can now click Next. Just as before, we want to look at the tool's printed sample. This time, the printed sample gives an example of a good and bad adjustment. The adjusted printout must fall within negative 1, 0, or plus 1. If it does not, we'll need to start over. Let's go ahead and view our printout and see if both FWD and RVS fall within the acceptable range of the values. Our FWD pattern meets the criteria of being negative 1, 0, or plus 1. Our adjusted RVS pattern also meets the same criteria. Let's go back to the tool now. Here, we can now answer the question on screen as yes, because our patterns have the smoothest value within negative 1, 0, or plus 1. If they did not, there is a button here to take you back to the beginning of the process so you may try again. You can now click Next. This will begin the process of the final adjustment file going to the printer. Here you will be reminded to ensure you have a sheet of copy paper and where to place it on the platen. If the paper you use is lightweight and lifted by the passing of the printhead, you should fix it with tape on the platen. When you click Next, a new file name, Platen Feed Adjusting Pattern, will be sent to the printer. Ensure it is displayed on the panel before proceeding. Next, place the blank copy paper on the top center of the platen in landscape orientation. Fix the paper to the platen using tape as shown to ensure that it does not move. Afterwards, you may press the green print button. Please note this file will take around 3 minutes to print. Once the file prints and the platen has ejected, the pong sound will chime. Remove the final printout and go back to the PC. Carefully remove the paper and the tape from the platen so you do not rip the paper. Back at the PC, in the Tool window, you can now click Next. The tool will remind you to pick the smoothest sample value for each row. Starting at row 1, we need to pick the smoothest pattern value. For row 1, this is plus 1. For row 2, this is plus 1. For row 3, this is 0. For row 4, this is plus 1. Let's input these values into the tool now. After we're finished, we can click Next. Once we have clicked Next, we have finished the adjustment process, and this will take us back to the main menu where we can proceed to white color alignment if we have replaced a print head or if we are setting up the printer. If you need additional support, please fill out our web form at brotherdtg.com forward slash help for further assistance.